So let's say I want to find the stationary points for each of these curves, OK? So uh, as a bit of a disclaimer for this video, um, if you haven't met uh, the chain rule or the product rule or the quotient rule um, yet for differentiation methods, then don't watch the rest of this video, OK? Go away and look at those up. Look those up first and make sure you're happy with them before continuing. So for number one, y equals the square root of 4x minus 3, take away 2x. So I'm going to rewrite that first. y equals 4x minus 3 to the half, take away 2x. And then I'm going to differentiate it. OK, so I'm going to use the chain rule for that bracket. So the derivative of what's inside is 4, that comes outside. The half multiplies with it, so I get two lots of 4x minus 3 to the minus a half, taking one from the power, and the minus 2x differentiates to minus 2. So I want to put dy by dx equals to 0 in order to find the stationary points. So two lots of 4x minus 3 to the minus a half, take away 2 is 0. So if I add the 2 to both sides, divide both sides by 2, I get 4x minus 3 to the minus a half is equal to 1. OK? At this point, if I use the reciprocal of both sides, so that means that 4x minus 3 to the half is the reciprocal of 1, which is just 1. Now I can square both sides, and I get 4x minus 3 equals 1. So adding 3 to both sides, I get 4x equals 4. Dividing both sides by 4, I get x is equal to 1. So if I then substitute that into the y equals that I originally had, I get 4 lots of 1 take away 3, so 1. Square root of 1 is just 1. 1 take away 2 lots of 1 is minus 1. So 1 minus 1. That's the uh, coordinates of the only stationary point for that curve. So that's number one. OK. Right, let's have a look at number two. So y is equal to x e to the 2x. So I'm going to use the product rule to differentiate this one. So dy by dx is the first times the derivative of the second, so 2e to the 2x, plus the second times the derivative of the first, so I just get e to the 2x. So simplifying that, 2x e to the 2x plus e to the 2x. So I want to put dy by dx equal to 0 to find the stationary points. So 2x e to the 2x plus e to the 2x equals 0. So you want to factorise that. Pull the e to the 2x outside of a single bracket and have 2x plus 1 inside the bracket. Now e to the 2x cannot be equal to 0, OK? Because it has an asymptote at the x-axis. So the only solution is going to come from that bracket being 0, so x must be minus a half. So if I substitute that into here, I can get the y value. So y is equal to minus a half e to the two lots of minus a half, so minus 1. And so the coordinates of the stationary point are minus a half, minus a half e. Uh, sorry, to the minus 1. OK? So that's the, the coordinates of the singular stationary point for that curve. All right. Last one, number 3. We have y equals e to the x over x plus 1. So I'm going to use the quotient rule to differentiate that. So we've got the bottom times the derivative of the top. Take away the top times the derivative of the bottom. So just e to the x. All over the bottom squared. OK. 
So, if I simplify the numerator, I get e x e to the x plus e to the x, take away e to the x. So the e to the x is cancel. So I just get left with x e to the x over x plus 1 squared. So stationary points exist when dy by dx is 0. So x e to the x over x plus 1 squared must be 0. Now the only way a fraction can be 0 is if the numerator is 0. So x e to the x would have to be 0. Now e to the x cannot be 0 for the same reason as e to the 2x couldn't be 0 in the previous example. e to the x has a, state, has a horizontal asymptote at the x-axis, never reaches it. And so x must be 0. Okay, that's the only one that could be uh, right. So if x is 0, we can substitute that into the curve to get e to the 0 over 0 plus 1. e to the 0 is 1, so we get 1 over 1, which is 1. So 0, 1, that's the coordinates of the singular stationary point of number 3.